everybody, welcome, welcome. My name is Christy and I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today is a thrift haul. Hmm. All right, guys, I have too much stuff to be going back to the bin, so I've been going to the local thrift to get my stuff. So there's pros and cons to this. The bins is a two and a half hour round trip drive, but the cost of goods, is so cheap that it's like a dollar to a dollar fifty per item when I get back. But because it's two and a half hours away, I go there for five or six hours, or five, you know, probably about four or five hours, and get you know sixty to eighty pounds worth of stuff, and it's a lot of stuff. If I go to my local place, it's a fifteen minute drive, and stuff is between three to five dollars a piece average cost of goods some things are eight dollars some things are two so average cost of goods at my thrift store is three to five dollars but it's only a 15 minute drive and i'm usually only there for a couple hours so last few weeks that's the way i've opted maybe in another couple of weeks i'll go back to the bins you know giant haul today is a small haul so i went to the thrift store yesterday and i spent a total of 68 dollars and 75 cents I got, if I counted right, I counted 22 items, which is just a little over $3 per item. So, yeah, not a big haul. Hopefully a quick one for you guys, just to kind of watch, see what kind of things I'm picking up. You'll notice a theme. I have my, not my niche, uh, when I started a few years ago, I was basically everything. I sold anything and everything at the store. I was there for hours looking up everything. Now I've got it niched down to a handful of things that I prefer to sell. So I'm going to start with the plush and we'll work my way through to the clothes. So today I've got this cute little piggy and he's a little dirty, needs a little bit of cleaning. I don't know if I'm going to sell him yet or keep him. Um, we are going to be getting our own pig. My brother-in-law has seven, eight, nine of his own and we're getting our own pigs here pretty soon and we also have cows so I might keep him for ourselves but I'm not sure yet he does not have a tag anywhere so yeah I have no idea about the maker but he's super cute so that's why I got him this is just like a little baby lovey it's from blankets and beyond it's, yeah, it's a cute little puppy pink and gray so yeah, I will pick up these things all day long, 15, 20 bucks easy. And I paid, I think 75 cents is what their price was for that. So this is a Scentsy Buddy. It's also a piggy. Now my thrift store, I think somebody donated their piggy stuffed animal collection because there was probably about 30 different pig stuffed animals that were there. So yeah, somebody was really into pigs and everything got donated. So. It does have a little bit of a spot there, so I will wash and try to see if I can get those out. Um, unfortunately, he did not come with a scent pouch. They do sell usually a little bit better if you have that um, with them. But I've never seen a piggy one before, so I picked him up. Let's see. Then I got this. This is a squishable. Definitely different than a squish mallow. Um, it's a squishable but it's cute that little face at first i thought it was like a shopkins when i saw it but it's not this almost looks like a little hand sticking like somebody's stuck in there but i don't know i think it's supposed to be a straw but yeah it's cute some of these go for really good money um, my daughter's got one for sale right now that's like a big blue one and they've got she's got it listed for like 50 something dollars so some of these can go for good money so i picked this up didn't look it up i'll just so up for whatever they go for. And then I got these three. Somebody must have donated all of these. Cute little guys. This one's got some weird t-shirt with a kid's face on the front. Oh, and a safety pin stuck through it. Hmm, let's take that out now before I get poked. Don't want to be poked. Let me get that out of there. And then this, so all three of these are the same brand. They are from Stephen Smith. Uh, 
made in China. They were, so yeah, panda, koala, and a lion. I don't know yet. I haven't looked these up. They are just really soft, really good condition. And so I might lot them together or I might sell them all individually. I'm not sure yet. So that is all of the plush. Then when I throw those into the washer, I'm going to throw this in the washer because it's filthy, but it is a Pyrex portable. So it's a bag for you to carry your hot casserole dishes if you're like going out for the holidays, to different people's houses. It's got something in here. Not sure what that is. It says micro core hot thermal pocket. And then this up top here is a micro core cold thermal pocket. So yeah. And it's got a pocket in front. Oh, well there you go. So you got your pocket in front here, and it's got this is a hot pocket. I think that might be all it has with it. I don't think it has a cold pocket with it. So yeah, I'm not seeing one in here. But yeah. And it's got this nifty little handle. To carry your stuff like so. And those I looked up, they're, they're going for about 20 bucks and possibly three bucks. All right, that is all the non-clothing items. And we'll start on the clothing items. Now, you guys know I love selling pajamas. I've already I sold three pairs this week alone or between the end of last week, beginning of this week. So this is Monkey Monkey. It's got my, lots of sheepies on there. I've also got sheepies. Just had them shorn or sheared or whatever it was for the first time like a month ago. So yeah, this, it's just a shirt. Normally I like to try to get these in pairs, the tops and the bottoms, but I could not find the bottoms to it, but I've never seen that design anywhere before, so I picked it up. And then I got these. These are just some Disney Tinkerbell and some like cupcakes or muffin pajama bottoms. These are a woman's size large. And just so you know, these were also a size, or this was also a size large, if I remember right. Yep, size large. If any time you guys see any of this stuff that you want, if you want any of this, just let me know. Send me um, an email or send me a message on here on YouTube and let me know and we will work out a deal. This is a Brooks sports bra in really good condition. Let's see, let's see what size it is. Size 34 double D. And it does have a, like a normal bra strap of closure in the back. And then the other sports bra that I got was, I believe, a Victoria's Secret. Yeah, Victoria's Sport. Uh, let's see, size 36D. That's also a nice sports bra. Um, just a little strap, just a pull over like a crisscross in the back. This is another thing of pajamas. It says it is a size, actually, I think this didn't have a size on it, if I remember right. Oh, nope, it says it, size medium. Woman's Star Wars pajama top. And then this is a Nike dry fit men's size 2X. Nice long sleeve shirt. Like a nice long sleeve compression shirt, Nike orange and blue. Let's see. And then this is just a woman's North Face hoodie. Kind of like a mint green color. And it's a size medium. This is a motherhood nursing hoodie. Let's see if I can show you guys. 
So on the sides here, it actually has a zipper so that you can get inside there and nurse your child while you're out and about. So kind of keep covered up. And this is a size medium. Just a nice gray nursing hoodie. And this I have found sells fairly good. It is, it is a field and stream men's size medium, which is a larger size, but they're, they're still good. It's a nice, thick, very thick, heavy um, flannel shirts, button up. I'm gonna save that one there for last. This is just another pajama set. So this is Simply Vera by Vera Wang. Button up there. You have a little pocket over here. And the size is a 2X, which is the reason why I picked this up Vera Wang. Most of the time, from what I can tell, it doesn't do really great, but the larger size Little. Yeah, just that little set there. And this is another, I think it's Monkey Monkey, right? Yep, Monkey Monkey. A little bit of a different um, material than I usually find with them. And the buttons, yeah, so it's a woman's size, uh, small. And it's just a bunch of kitty kitties on there. They're all named. Snowflake, Frederick, Tiger, Caskill. So yeah. So any of you that really loves kitty kitties, you would love that. It's actually really super soft too. Let's see a few more items. This is another pajama set. And it is, let's see. What is this? Do, 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 do. It's all inside out. I know it had a brand. Oh, there it is. It's called Cuddle Duds. Cuddle Duds. These actually do really good. Never heard of it before. Looked it up. And probably about $25 to $30 for the set. And it's got like a little tiny pocket on the front. It's just a pullover shirt. And got some nice pants, some nice loungy pants. Ah, hello. And then this item was new with tags. Almost had no idea. I was looking at it and it looked nice. I almost couldn't find the tag in it. But it's a Michael Michael Kors, size one size um, poncho. But yeah, it's just a nice poncho zipper in the front. New tag, Michael Michael Kors. And let's see, last but not least. So for all of y'all that don't know, some Levi's are really good and some are just okay. This one is one of the good ones because it is a, a Levi's orange tag. So this is a vintage Levi's snap front blue jean shirt. And I had a hat that was an orange label that I sold at an auction within a week for like 70 something dollars. So I might do the same with this. I might not, I might just outright put it out for like 60 or $70. I think that's what comps are going for for most shirts. So yeah, that is everything. This one thing here will probably pay for almost everything in here. So that was really good. Whew, done, under 15 minutes, booyah. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate you guys being here. And I will give you a what sold video beginning of next week. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And I'll talk to you guys later.